I bought a gas can at Walmart. The sewers are running out of fuel and don't have enough gas cans. It's about 11 or 12 mile drive from town. So I bought a gas can. I'm going to fill that up and write sewing on it for them and uh, maybe give them some money so they can have somebody break loose and fill up the can as they go. They've already got one can, but it's just not enough. Tuesday morning at about, uh, it's just now 10 o'clock and Chad is waiting for me with Dave and Sev to drive to Phoenix to go look at a van <clears throat> for CC. The GoFundMe, thank you everyone who chipped in on that. That was just absolutely fantastic how fast that got funded. But we have a little hiccup that they won't release the funds for eight days, which is now probably down to six days. But the van build is only, you know, the, as long as it is. I don't know how many days left off the top of my head as I make this video. So we can't wait for it to get funded to pull the trigger. And we found a really good van. At least it looks like it on paper. We're going to go down and check it out and make sure we got a diagnostic machine that we borrowed from Wren. And it's one of those diagnostic machines. Not like the $80 one that you get at the auto parts store. It's one of those comprehensive ones that gives you things like cylinder pressure and all kinds of little fine details to tell you what kind of shape it's in so the, these guys are mechanics going down there they've got the testing equipment and we just need the cash to pull the trigger on this and it hasn't come through yet so i'm going to head over to chase bank and talk to him about taking it off my credit card and just kind of borrowing against the gofundme so we can get a jump on this Well, this is it. That's it. Looks pretty good from appearances. Let me pop the hood. Yep. So let's check all the fluids, see what they look like, how dirty they are. Yeah, the brake fluid is, Filthy. Um, it's not low, but it's dirty. Oh, yeah, I want to see the color of the fluid, see if it's milky. Anything in it? No, it looks pretty clean. All right. There's the... There's the one I love to look at. Probably nice and clean, right? Yeah, no, no, no burnt, burnt smell. If you smell a burnt smell, then the transmission's been slipping and it's lost a lot of its life, if not ready to go. The video said the AC was just recharged. All right. Let's check that oil. Which means it probably leaks, but okay. okay. Here's the oil, but let's check the, um, the cover off and, and see. So this dipstick on the oil is loose? Is it? Yeah. I should probably take a look down on the needs and see what's going on. <laughs> how does it look? Well, it looked pretty clean. I gotta see how it looks. Yeah. No play in the water pump bearings. Nice. Um, it's actually very clean under here. Probably needs a Oil change, I don't know exactly, but it ain't brand new. Yeah. You know what I mean? Never know. Anyway, I'm gonna pull that oil cap off and see what it looks like down inside there. Yeah, do that. So I'm looking down here for milkiness. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. It doesn't look milky. The negative cable is a little loose. So yeah, it looks like somebody cable. just put a battery in it. Right. That'd be my guess. Alright, I'm gonna start it up. I'll be here, don't run me over. Ready? Yep. So the battery needs to be tightened down, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got 11.5 11, 11 volts in it. It's pretty dead. Try one of these blind jump cables. We can look at the body, the tires. The tire is good. This looks good. The inside's got a lot of beaten from whatever was in it, and it's filthy, but it's there. Um, the brake light's unhooked for whatever reason. But we should be covering all of this. Oof. There's a reason they cover things when you go to buy something. Definitely needs a windshield. This shield's broken in three or four places. Let's go look at the other side. It does have cruise control, which is nice. 
the long drives. Probably come up with something better than that. Um, there was some kind of antenna up here, so we'll have to fill that. They didn't use it much in the rain. Needs wiper blades. That's all normal stuff you expect. A fuse box. Somebody's got some kind of accessory wire in here. That's extra. God knows where it goes. Probably something on the dash if we look. Yeah, it's a little dirty, but I'm sure it's never been changed. It's a good idea to change it once in a while. You just gotta suck it all out and fill it back up. So that's the AC radiator. On the regular radiator, you wanna look for missing fins. Of course, that's probably more in the Northeast because they rot away. They don't rot away here. If it had a cap right here, you could actually look down and see if it was full of crap, but it doesn't have that thing. Again, radiators aren't super expensive either, and they take about an hour to change. That's the one that squirts your windshield right there. That needs to be hooked to something. It's all falling apart. Battery's two years old. Actually, not even. Which worries me. You got a you got a battery that's not very old and dead, and you've got an alternator that's obviously relatively new because it's all shiny, and the battery's still dead. Well, that's the whole charging system. So what's missing is the question. So we're gonna find it out in a minute. Nice. Not the best quality, but in a pinch. This was the cheapest model for 20 bucks, but the gauge wire. The other one was 39 and it had the same gauge wire. Come with the little toe strap, 12 feet long, um, 45, uh, 100 pound. Working load is 1,500, so it would get her out of um, harm's way to the side of the road if she needed it. A flashlight, some work gloves, looks like a raincoat or a safety vest, and some band-aids so for 20 bucks it's better than nothing right and it, and it got her off the road oh, that, that sounds real good, yeah it sounds real good no ticking so check the battery 13 7 so 13 7 open. 14 2 is perfect so it needs a new battery before we even leave that's fine we'll get a new battery down the street walmart or walmart yeah they're station wide all right let's try again positive, positive. I'm just gonna raise the RPM, see if we get any noises. And then I'm gonna go around the back. We sit here at the pipe. First of all, we're sitting in the exhaust, which isn't a good idea, but we're not smelling any antifreeze, so no head gaskets leaking type thing. And if you listen to the pulses, they're, dum -dum 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 -dum, they're very consistent, so we're not skipping anywhere. What do you think? Sounds good. So did you crawl underneath there and check out everything? Or? Just been down, just past the front wheels. Just do this. Yeah, you. And I'll right. look for looseness and okay, you can do that. Yeah. So as he moves, go ahead. As he does that, because this arm pushes the wheel around, we're looking for play right here. There's no play in that tie rod. Uh, we're also looking in the ball joints. This isn't the best way to check ball joints, but if they're real bad, it's going to show. Um, so I need to go to the other side. If you do this, you can actually feel the difference in the two if they're loose. They're nice and tight. It works really good. If you do this and he wiggles it, if there was any play in that ball joint, you'd feel it. Same thing here. Uh, shocks have been replaced. They're relatively new. There is no noise coming from the fan belt, which is amazing. Um, there isn't a tick from the motor. There's no oil dripping off of anything. Uh, I haven't gone back and checked the drive shaft yet. Uh, fuel tank, steel, hot leaking, aluminum drive shaft. Um, if I actually rock the vehicle, if there was any play in those joints, you'd see it. That one's nice and tight. They look like original. I gotta go down the other end. The muffle has been replaced. All looks good. Still headed for the other U joint. 
kind of belly flop dance. All right, if I can rock it. There's no play in that. No leaks. Can't find a leak in the van. Got an oil cooler too. Tail lights and backup. Tail lights? Yep. Yep. Third brake light isn't working, but I think it's unplugged. Hit the brakes again. Yay! That's left. On the right side, the bottom. All right. The tail lights also. The headlights also shooting for the moon. Give me some headlights. All right. High beam, low beam. Yep. All right. This is pretty much gone. There used to be a balance down here. We can bend the bumper back a little bit, maybe paint it. What's the symbol on your rig? Is that low tire pressure or what is that? Yes. Three of the tires are really good. One's bad? Yeah, the drive one. Oh. So somebody did smoke runs with it while they were driving it. It's got a trailer hitch on it. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty much bald. Uh, this door's a little bottom of it. Kind of like missing. It's not missing, it needs to be put back together. So tape it is, weld? Yeah, the, well, yeah. yeah, the welds. You want to bend the lip and get the lip over on the bottom and then yeah, re-tack weld all these yeah, things. That ain't a big deal. No, we got right? welders, we got everything. Yeah, yeah the floor's all there, it's beat it. Yeah. Yeah. But so he was a handyman, she said? Yeah, it does. So but it'll work, right? Yeah, we'll just cover with plywood. Absolutely, right? yeah. Insulate it and plywood. I think we should paint it first. Although it's gonna probably Yeah, stay fill in the, the holes. It's gonna stay in the dry weather, so it really doesn't matter, but is that rusted out down there? Um, not really, just surface rust? Not really, it's really nasty. Let's put that OBD up on there. All right. Cylinder one, misfire detection. Um, DTS service two of three, repair immediately if driving, if drivability issue. is a misfire. So it's either wires or injectors? Is or bad plug fuel filter, sure, sure. or it could be low voltage to the, which with a dead battery, you get low voltage, it'll make it misfire. Um, I'm not really concerned over it, to be honest with you. Let's drive it around a little. So I'll let you drive it around and I'll stay here so she feels comfortable. All right. Let's see if all this stuff works. We got defrost, vents, all the AC, which works. That should get hot, it did. It's coming out of all the vents. Your light switch. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so what we want to do is open it up wide open and let it shift to make sure the transmission doesn't slip between gears. Yeah. Brakes feel real good. So we'll listen, it's hot on this road, but we're listening for wheel bearings that are making noise. If you do this a little, put a little pressure on them. It seems real quiet. The brakes pull a little to the right, which means this caliber is probably half frozen, so it doesn't squeeze as hot as that one. This shift's run fine. It seems to run okay. It drives straight down the road. Like I said, I think it feels a caliber that's not working well. We were too far from the highway, but I don't think it's going to be any different there. See how fast that's flashing? So it's just a light bulb. That's the same place where the headlights knocked out of its sockets. I actually like to talk to Jamie about this before we make an offer. Not only just one thirty-nine hundred bucks, but it's going up one twenty grand and maybe that. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm going because it's not all the money. But then again, like I say, there's really nothing else. The next thing we found to even look at was five thousand dollars, and it wasn't a panel van; it was a window van. Get a battery for it, and then set an appointment at a windshield place. That yeah, yeah, I can do the front brakes and while well, they're building the inside out, you know. Yeah, I think it's got pretty good bones. It, like I say, it runs really, really good. I just wanted to touch base with you before I went and spent all that money. Well, I appreciate that. I think I give it the green light. All right. If you like it, I like it. Mechanically, what do you think? It runs really good. Okay. It shifts really good. The braking. The brakes pull to the right. A couple of times, we're gonna have to do front pads of caliper. I'd say a pair of tires. Yeah. Um, windshield. Windshield, the battery. I kind of did some quick math while we were driving. I figured about $1,500 mechanical to put it back together. You think that's our bottom dollar then? So that would be 
2400, right? Uh, she's not gonna pay no. no, I think it's worth more than 2400. Yeah, let me go talk to her. 3500. Alright, ma'am. Sounds very grateful. Don't put that away. Um, you gotta go inside and buy a battery before you leave here. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where you could get them cheap is like oh, the battery stores. Yeah. Right, but Walmart, she, that one Walmart is universal. Yeah. The world, you know, if all it, over the country. So it has yeah. to be a different battery? No, 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 no. no. But if, if she, she has, has trouble, problems with her battery in the next couple of years, she can go to a Walmart oh, and get it okay. replaced, right? Instead of going so to AutoZone or wherever. All right. It was nice meeting you guys. You too. Thank you.